Things were said when Charles Gibson interviewed Sarah Palin, some of them unspoken. That's where Tanya Ryman, body language czarina, comes in. Let's roll the tape. Do you agree with the Bush doctrine? In what respect, Charlie? The Bush, well, what, do you, what do you interpret it to be? His worldview? No, the Bush doctrine enunciated September 2002, before the Iraq War. I believe that what President Bush has attempted to do is rid this world of Islamic extremism, terrorists who are hell-bent on destroying our nation. All right, that's the most famous part. Now, I'm Gibson, okay? I'm Gibson. All right. All right. I'm leaning way back. Yes. My nose is up. Completely. My little glasses, which I don't have now, yes. are right on my nose. Now, I would, that's not the pose I would take in an interview, but Gibson, whatever. Did what does that mean? Well, number one, it's intimidating because what is what is he saying? He's going, okay, so I'm really not thinking that you're going to know the answers to these questions. You see that looking down the nose that we've spoken about, and it's insulting. But he didn't it's see it that way. He didn't. Gibson didn't see that. He didn't go in and say, look, I'm going to be condescending to her. He didn't do that. How do you know that? Because I know him. Oh, okay. Well, he would never do that. Here's what I got from him. Every time he asked a question, her response came, and if he didn't like her response, I saw a lot of lip movement, like. What was that? So from him, from, from him. Gibson. Yes. Okay, but let, let's let's get the lean back right. I thought leaning in is intimidating, like I do. Depending upon where you are. Leaning you, back. Yeah. Well, leaning back. When you're looking down your nose yes. at someone, that's an like insult. This, like yes. I'm doing now, this. of course, he was using his glasses. He's looking through his glasses. Right. So, you know, the, the intention isn't to be insulting, but the look is, and it's about the perception you get. Okay. So, in this seat, my perception is intimidation. Now, she. Sensing this is a gotcha question, as yeah. anybody would, Bush doctrine, what's that? How did she react? She lost it, actually. She was calm, cool, and collected right up until this point and then right after. But during this little piece, she, you saw it. You saw some sarcasm in her face, that usual sneer. Did you see that look? How one what's side of lip? the mouth I, what's goes the up. Thing? That's yeah. anger. And if you look, you can see the little bulge underneath her lips. She gets angry because she recognizes that maybe this is a gotcha question. So she get, you can tell she's angry because she tucks her, uh, her upper lip tight, under the lower? Right. The lips get very tight, and they go mm -hmm. across instead of peeking up. And then in addition, there's some lip what about What about the hand? Hands on the knee. The hand there that? was, did you see that little rub that she yeah. did? She gave a little rub. To reassure herself? Yes, to reassure that... herself. But what's interesting, both of these people, you see constant foot movement. And whenever you see foot movement like that, that's where most of our tension leaks out. So when I see that much foot movement between both of them, I realize there's a high level of tension. All right. Um, the Obama uh, pig remark, uh, this is just a straight Obama play. Roll it. That's not change. That's, that's just calling some the same thing, something different. But you know, you can't, you know, you, you can put uh, lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig. Okay, so what was I looking for here? I was looking for any glint or glimmer, any smile, any movement no smile. around the lips. None. None. That's what told me that he didn't get what the crowd got. The, cr the crowd starts laughing. He doesn't get that. Here, really, what I saw was hostility and frustration. I didn't think that this was anything intentional. Well, I didn't either. Uh, but his body language is basically a critical. He, he looks a critical. little tense. There. See, he you couldn't look see. No, he wasn't. He's the hand relaxed. is in his pocket. Right. That's not relaxed. Uh, you couldn't really see because he covers his eyes, so I can't really see what's going on. But anytime what you is have. He, what does that mean when you do that? Mm, hand to forehead, hand to neck, that's high levels of tension. Really? It's like you're trying to soothe the tension away. You ever get a headache? What do you do? You rub your head. Pain in the neck. What do you do? You rub the back of your neck, and right. that's what he's doing. I don't have time for the uh, McCain view clip. But McCain, uh, how long is it? Can we do this? They can't. They're not telling me. Okay. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to rush through it. But McCain handled the view. I thought well because they were all coming at him. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. He did very good. What did he do? He kind of looked at every person who spoke to him, turned his body language accordingly. So right. I thought that that was powerful. When you come back the next time, we'll run the McCain view clip because Barbara Walters never looked him in the eye. No. What he does doesn't mean? either. He doesn't either. He looks down a lot. He doesn't look people in the eye no. either? Well, in this look particular in clip, he didn't. Him. This clip, he doesn't. He doesn't look right. anybody in the eye. But he looks down was a lot. Looking, never looked him yeah. in the eye. Yeah. So Joy Behar did. She was looking at him, and then she turned her eyes away. She's much more confrontational yeah. than Barbara. All right, Tanya Ryman, everybody. When we come right back, the Obama campaign says McCain is old and out of touch. McCain